Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So today I'm sharing three recipes for DIY homemade cleaners that are so awesome in performance. You're going to want to share this video with your friends and family. You're going to absolutely love them. I'm OCD for cleanliness. I do a lot of car detailing videos on my channel, but that OCD for cleaning and organizing also extends to the interior of my home. So why are these cleaners so good? First of all, they're super inexpensive, so they, they, they cost pennies to produce. Uh, next, you probably already have all the ingredients to make them at home. And by the way, these ingredients are pretty much all natural, non-toxic, and biodegradable. And third, they're also very easy and simple to make. They take a few seconds and you're good to go. But most importantly, they're very effective at what they do. So the three cleaners we're talking about today, the number one is the all-purpose cleaner for general purpose cleaning, for general dusting, cleaning countertops, your cupboards, all sorts of stuff, picking up spills and messes as well. The next one is a stone countertop cleaner. So good for marble, granite, quartz, uh, basically any natural stone or sealed surface. Very gentle yet very powerful in the way it performs. You guys are gonna love this. This is one of my favorites. Uh, and the third one is a stainless steel cleaner for your stainless steel appliances. And it also doubles as a disinfectant. So especially now in the world we live in, we all know how sanitizing surfaces can be very important. And you know what? I'm feeling generous. I'll give you three bonus cleaners as well. We're gonna have a uh, hardwood floor cleaner. We're also going to have a glass cleaner recipe and last but not least a soap scum remover. So like I said, you probably already have all the ingredients at home. Should you need something but that you see in this video, by the way, and you need to purchase it, don't worry. I'll drop the links to all of the tools, products, and the ingredients in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I hope everyone's doing well. Let's start off right away. We need a few basic things. So some measuring cups, uh, a few few funnels and then of course the spray bottles regardless of which size you want you can adjust the recipe accordingly because you're going to see it's very simple and then the ingredients that we need uh, things like distilled white vinegar just five percent regular white vinegar uh, for making your uh, mixes, I highly recommend that you use demineralized or deionized water. So the better the water quality, well, the less chances you have of leaving streaks behind or any water spots. So use demineralized or deionized water. We have isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, uh, just some dish washing liquid and um, a few essential oils. So we're going to start with the all-purpose cleaner. So you're going to open your spray bottle and you can have color coordinated bottles by the way depending on which cleaner you're using i like to have that as a color code so we're going to take a measuring cup always start with your water first we're going to put the funnel on the spray bottle so inside here i have two cups of water for the all-purpose cleaner so we're going to pour that inside the spray bottle directly and then the next very very easy ingredient is one tablespoon of Dawn dishwashing liquid. So I like to use Dawn because it's very, very good at what it does. It's a strong degreaser, yet it's still very gentle. So if you don't have the little measuring thingies for exact measurements, don't worry. It's not a scientific thing. That's the beauty of it. So just take a regular tablespoon and you're gonna pour that directly inside the mix. So we're gonna make sure all of it goes down there. And that's it. This is how simple it is, guys. So you take the funnel out. It's very important to mix your bottles properly. So close that sprayer up and then you're gonna give it a twirl and then a few up and down and that's it. You're good to go. You have your all purpose cleaner, good for cleaning all sorts of surfaces. Again, any countertops, uh, any cupboards that you have in your kitchen, for example, uh, any surface, your light dusting duties or any uh, cleaning duties that you have around your home. This is one that you're going to use very, very often. Uh, the next one, the stone countertop cleaner. So take another spray bottle. We're going to put the funnel on it as well. And for this, it is very simple. We're going to start off with one and three quarter cups of water. So again, I use demineralized water. You can also use distilled water. Just get good quality water. And that way, again, you'll have no streaking. That's one of the keys, right? Also some good quality microfiber towels for everything that you're using. So I'll leave links, like I said, in the description under the video. So one and three quarter cups of water that we're gonna pour directly inside the uh, spray bottle. Then we're going to take a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol. So this is isopropyl alcohol. Get the 99% USP one or 90% from your local drugstore or pharmacy or wherever you get your supplies from. And we're going to measure 
a quarter cup. So as you can see, it is very, very simple. All the ingredients are non-toxic, natural, biodegradable, and most importantly, they're super safe for all surfaces. So we have the quarter cup of the isopropyl alcohol in there. We're gonna pour that in. There we go, we can set that aside. So next we need one teaspoon of dish washing liquid. So again, if you don't have the measuring devices for the teaspoons, just grab an actual teaspoon and you pour that in there. It's not scientific by any means. So you can even make this if you have any children, kids, stuff like that. You can make, the, make them participate and they actually love making these kinds of things. And we're also going to add 10 to 20 drops of essential oils. I like using lavender essential oils. So if you do your research on essential oils, they have uh, antimicrobial, uh, germicidal properties, those kinds of things, antiseptic basically. Uh, and we're also using this to give some scent, right? So this is gonna make the thing smell awesome. So we're going to go ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. A few more maybe. 10 to 20 drops, this is gonna make this mix smell absolutely amazing, guys. And you know the drill by now, you close your spray bottle up, you're gonna mix it, give it a twirl, up and down as well, and there you go. The mix is done for the stone cleaner. So again, you can use this on granite countertops, marble, on quartz, basically any natural stone and sealed surface you can use this on. It is very gentle. It will not harm the, uh, the surface, but you're gonna see how effective it is at cleaning. And it's also gonna leave a nice sheen on your counters, just that natural appearance, the uh, like new look that we love, all while making the surface clean. So I really, really like this and you guys are probably too. By the way, once you try one or all of these cleaners, drop a comment in the comments section and let me know how much you enjoy them. I always like to have my viewers feedback. So the third product we're talking about now is the stainless steel appliance cleaner. So if you guys know, there's a lot of fingerprints and smudges that accumulates on stainless steel surfaces. Uh, sometimes there's a bit of dirt, there's some spillage from either food items or anything that you do uh, in your kitchen and you want to make the surface not only clean but also it doubles as a disinfectant. So if you go look on the CDC's website, uh, they highly recommend a uh, isopropyl alcohol mix of roughly 70% to disinfect most surfaces, uh, including if you want to protect yourself against COVID and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, if you want to use this as a disinfectant for cleaning door handles around your home, that kind of thing, uh, even your um, appliances. Uh, also, you can use this on your electronics if you want to disinfect, for example, uh, your mobile phone device or your tablet, those kinds of things. It works fantastically well and is very gentle. Uh, for this one, we're going to use something super simple. So this is going to be isopropyl rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, but the 70% one, because this is already pre-diluted, ready to go. So if you only have the stronger 90 to 99%, use roughly a little over two thirds of, the, uh, of this mix with about a third of water. But if you purchase the 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, that's all you need. That's how simple this is. You're gonna pour that inside your spray bottle and you're literally good to go. So this one here, as I said, is going to not only help remove the uh, grease and fingerprint smudges on your stainless steel appliances, but also what it does, it leaves like a beautiful shine on the uh, stainless steel appliances as well. And we all love that for, the for that like new appearance. Some 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol inside a spray bottle and you are good to go. We're going to close that up. You don't have to go for super expensive spray bottles. There's some inexpensive ones in the description uh, under the video, but you can also go to your dollar store and pick some up. Really, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what is most important is how awesome these are to perform. So once again, perfect for cleaning stainless steel appliances, but also for your general disinfecting duties if you have that around your home for disinfecting the uh, different surfaces. So you saw how simple this is with these simple and inexpensive ingredients that are natural, non-toxic, biodegradable, we all love that. Uh, and I'm sure all the parents of uh, families outside there, you're gonna enjoy having these products and knowing that they're not only safe, 
for the surfaces that you're using them on, but also safe for your health, safe for, safe for your loved ones as well. So for the three bonus cleaners now, we're gonna have the first one, a hardwood floor cleaner. So if you have uh, natural hardwood floors inside your home, we all know that they're very delicate. So we don't recommend using a lot of cleaners often. The most important thing is general cleaning as far as dusting goes. So use a vacuum, that is the number one thing. And every once in a while, what I like to do probably once or twice a month is to have a light mop with a very, very light cleaner inside the mop bucket. By the way, I have a full tutorial on how to clean your hardwood floors. I'll drop that link to that video in the description under this video for you guys to check that out later. If you have uh, a spray version that you want to use with your uh, handheld mop, for example, and spray the head and use it, an easy cleaner is to have basically two cups of water, uh, a quarter cup of white vinegar, half a teaspoon of dish washing liquid, and a few drops of essential oils for the scent. So that way you're gonna, and of course, be very gentle on the amount that you're spraying on your mop head. You don't wanna oversaturate your flooring with liquid. Obviously we're talking about wood, but you're gonna see at how effective it is at cleaning duties. Of course, it's gonna disinfect lightly as well, but it's gonna remove those foot smudges that we also see, some smears, some oils, some spills, whatever there is, it's gonna do very good cleaning uh, duties for your hardwood floors. The next one is a glass cleaner, one of the best that's available. You don't have to buy anything commercial or toxic or ammonia based. All you need is in a spray bottle, a 50-50 mix of distilled or demineralized water and the other half is white vinegar. Yeah, your plain distilled 5% white vinegar that you have to uh, cook your food with and uh, that's pretty much it. You put it in a spray bottle, you spray, and that's pretty much it. Once again, it's gonna be highly effective. Uh, another key thing when you're cleaning glass, by the way, is use an appropriate microfiber glass towel. So they're usually very short nap, very thin, and they don't uh, do any linting. So that way you don't have any lint residue on your windows when you're cleaning the glass. So not only the product, but the tool that you're using to clean is also very important. Uh, last but not least, we have a soap scum remover. So a spray basically that I call a daily spray that you can use in your glass shower. So uh, often what I like to do is obviously squeegee the glass when I'm done, but some people don't necessarily want to spend the time cleaning or squeegeeing the glass windows, or they just, they just want a spray that once their shower is done, before they get out, they simply spray that on the surface, they let it go and they can go out and that way the soap scum doesn't accumulate. So in a spray bottle, again, what you do is half a cup of water, one cup of white vinegar, so that distilled 5% white vinegar, the standard vinegar, and then 10 to 20 drops of tea tree essential oils. You can also use lavender if you want, but for that one, the tea tree essential oils, uh, I find really smells good, but uh, does the trick. So that way, again, when you're done uh, doing, when, when you're cleaning yourself in the shower, uh, once you're done, spray that on the surface and you let it dwell and that is it. It should prevent the, uh, uh, soaps come from sticking. Of course, the best way is to squeegee your glass showers and maybe spritz a bit of that to make sure there's no buildup. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, smash the thumbs up button again. I remind you that all the links to the uh, tools, the uh, the products and the ingredients, I'll leave the links in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. If you uh, enjoyed this video and wanna see more awesome uh, DIY cleaning tutorials, I have things like cleaning your hardwood floors, how to clean your washing machine, that is very important, how to clean microfiber towels, how to clean your dryer, so on and so forth, a bunch of cool stuff. I'll leave links to those videos in the description. So guys, Thanks for being there, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.